Welcome to the Canada Games. I'm Game Master 31899 with all your coverage. In this part, if I could find my controller, <laughs> let's play the Canada Games. Why did I press pause? Don't know why. If it was a Bentley mission, wouldn't be too sure about that. Yes, it is. Okay, guys, let's head down there and win those talents from Jean Bissot. Sly, try to keep a low profile when we get close. We don't want him to recognize you. Oh, great. Controller messed up. Hopefully, it won't do much harm. Excuse me, sir. We humble lumberjacks would like to participate in your lumberjack games. Think you got what it takes to win the clockwork talons, eh? Well, hey. I'm sure enough, gonna let you play so long as you pay the entry fee. Much obliged, partner. We'll, uh, just take our positions for the competition. Enjoy the moment while you think you still have a chance. It's as close to winning as you'll ever get. This year's first of Now for the power chopping, chopping contest. Not like anyone's ever going to beat my record, but let them try. Oh. Chop strong if you hope to beat me. Okay. Not bad, hippo. But watch and learn. Okay, good. I finally got that log without even breaking a sweat. Yeah. Okay, Bentley, you're on. Plant the eagle egg on the sun, and the angry eagle parent should swoop in and throw off his axe timing. Now we got frozen eggs. God damn it. Ah, <laughs> uh, too many eagles. Oh my god! Oh my god! to work right come on come on come on time's running out <laughs> what I think you better rethink them scores boys what you intended to give me was perfect tens right of course. And they say we're cheating. Alright, this is the harder one. This is a very hard one. Pretty good for a 
There we go. Now, watch and learn as I demonstrate the art of power climbing. Hurry, use those grapples to hook on to Bisson. You will need to hook him with all three lines to pull him off. The this is a pain. This is a true pain, this one. So close. Got him. It seems you have pulled the wrong cards again. Did I ever tell any of you the story about the judge from last year's competition who mistakenly gave me a score other than 10? Who mistakenly gave me a score other than 10? I see we're tied with only one event to go. Unfortunately for you, I've saved my best event for the last. The spinning log comes. Great. Great, great, great. I just need to stay out of the water. Oh, you little freak. Yes! Yes, that was awesome! Yes, that was awesome! Glitched again! You're right, Marty. Those guys need to go. Okay, I'm just making this up on the fly, but... What if I were to lure the judges one by one into that cave? Once inside, you two will knock them out and take their clothes. Genius! When all three judges have been restrained, we'll be able to don our disguises and take their place at the judges' table. Sly, you can use the alarm clock gadget to distract the judges and lure them into the cave. That's a great plan, Sly, but you'll have to move fast. Once John Bisson finishes the log rolling event, the gig is up.
finally. I don't know how long it took, but. What? I I warned you judges about the consequences for incorrect scores. Wait a second. You aren't the judges I hired. It's the scrawny raccoon and his annoying friends. Well, if you want the challenge, then why don't you just take them? Oh no. Oh, my aching head. Those talons really pack a punch. Sly! Murray! Wake up! Yeah, I'm awake, but not so loud. I have a splitting headache. Where are we? What's going on? This looks like the sawmill control room. Bisson must have thrown us in here for interrogation later. I, for one, would like to escape before he returns. It looks like we're pretty well sealed in here. Unless... Unless what? Unless you can fit through that hole. I... I think I could squeeze through there. I'll drop down and try to free you guys from the outside. If there's any trouble, I'll call with this walkie-talkie. You might be able to help me with these sawmill controls. While you guys do that, I'll try prying open that steel door. Given enough time, I might be able to make some progress. Sounds like a plan. Good luck, Bentley. And remember to shout if I can help you from up here. You okay? I can't see you from in here, but I heard the fall. I'll be fine. Just give me a moment to catch my breath. Well now, Candy Bridges. I should have figured a puny turtle like you would find a rat hole to squirm through. Well, I just dropped my glasses, had to come pick them up. I ain't like you, boy. I ain't stupid. When y'all were on Conscious me and my boys paid a visit to your hideout and found all them clockwork parts. Stupid. Stupid. You were willing to plus down a king's ransom for the whole lot. I even threw in the talents. You sold all the clockwork parts? Arpeggio has them all? I wouldn't expect one of your kind to understand the finer points of commerce. You turtles are too stupid to know a woodcutter from a woodchuck. That's it. Time I showed you just how stupid, stupid. we turtles really are. Sly, on my command. I hear you. Prepare yourself, Bissad. On guard. Okay, Walnut. Get ready for a smushing. Call out which lever I should pull. Sizzle, there you go. Wait! Ten four. Wait! Wait! Bam! Shields now. Look at that. They got all bad. Fire! 
bomb. He's throwing bombs. Call out which lever I should pull. I've been done in by some four-eyed turtle. Times have changed. Once again, Braids triumph over Brock. And there goes Jumps on. Good job, little buddy. That was some fast thinking. Don't forget about me. You did a great job opening that door, Murray. Thanks. Uh, attention, uh, Jumps on. Arpeggio's uh, carrier blimp will uh, arrive to pick up the Northern Light battery in exactly one minute. Okay, enough patting ourselves on the back. If we're going to get the clockwork parts back, we need to get onto that blimp. The silo battery isn't far. If we run, we can make it. Enough talk, let's move! Okay, so... Let's move. Shake a leg that blimps on its way. Where am I supposed to go? Oh my god. Here comes Arpeggio's blimp. Nice going. As we shut our We are done with episode like 7, headed into the final episode. For a few long minutes, we just sat there in darkness. No one dared to talk for fear that Jean Bassan's men might discover where we were hiding. Time seemed to have stopped. And then we felt it. We were being lifted up to Arpeggio's blimp.
It was all so strange. The focus of all our schemes had oh been stolen God. from us. Our clockwork parts were gone. Looking around the inside of the battery, I knew we all felt it. Failure. I was twitchy and ready for action. Any action. Bentley tried to make some sense of the situation by drawing up meaningless plans. But Murray? Murray took it the worst. He just sat there sobbing while the team van floated away over the horizon. That van was his life. I knew I'd have to find a way to make it up to him.